Number two, do you think law-abiding Americans should be able to purchase and possess modern sporting rifles, sometimes referred to as assault rifles? Now, understand that I'm wording these questions properly, but I'm using quotes when necessary, like whenever I call an assault weapon assault weapon. You have to understand, and I'm sure you guys do, that people who aren't staunch Second Amendment supporters, they might think there is a legitimate name called assault weapons, even though you and I both know that that is not true. Um, we'll get into it in another video. Assault rifles is an actual military term that's used to describe an inter intermediate rounded um, a gun, uh, but there's no such thing as an assault weapon. If there is, it's too overcompassing, which includes baseball bats, spoons, um, whatever you want, uh, rubber bats, anything like that. Anything that could be used to attack somebody is an assault weapon at that point. So, again, to read it one more time, do you think law-abiding Americans should be able to purchase and possess modern sporting rifles, sometimes referred to as assault rifles? Okay, same order, Rob Anderson. Rob Anderson comments, yes, exclamation point. In most gun-related shootings, the perpetrator uses a handgun or shotgun, banning what some call assault rifles, does not address either the weapons of choice or those set on doing others harm, nor does a ban address the underlying causes of violence in society. Thank you. Rob, you sound like a Republican. You are, in fact, a Democrat. So you're getting high marks of praise as far as I'm concerned. And let's see, Clay Higgins falls in line next at number two. Clay simply responded, yes, he supports our rights to have modern sporting rifles, AR-15s, AK-47s. Verone Thomas is a Democrat and he is next and he simply responds, yes, he supports our right to have assault weapons. I think it's important that you look at any of these guys, actually, because there are Republicans that are rhinos that will roll in a heartbeat depending on which way the emotion is flowing in the United States. They'll turn anti-Second Amendment in a heartbeat. So don't get too caught up in everybody's answers. But I want to draw particular attention to the Democrats that are on here that are saying the things that we want to hear, if you know what I mean. Because I'm going to call them on it. So if one of these guys goes to Washington, and even if it's a Republican, and they support a ban on AR-15s of any kind, and they answered yes here, I'm going to call them on it. Just letting you guys know. I know I'm repeat myself on that, but it's worth repeating because I'm not going to allow these people to use my platform to further their own agenda, even if it's not their actual agenda. In other words, they're trying to feed me what we want to hear. And I'm going to make sure that I call them on that. Aaron Andrus is next. Aaron also responded simply, if America, law-abiding Americans should have modern sporting rifles or assault rifles, yes. No elaboration. Fine. Uh, Josh Guillory, he's, he answers yes also. So far, everybody's really liking this. Um, oh, never mind. Next up is Mimi Methvin. Mimi Methvin is a resounding no on AR-15s. If she's not, then answer the question, Mimi instead of sending me to your website. Let's not be rude about it. So if you disagree with the answer that I'm going to be giving on your behalf, you can reach out to me and give the correct answer if I'm wrong. However, I'm left with using your website, which says, as a member of Congress, I will stand with the veterans and others in Congress who support restrictions on sale of assault weapons such as the AR-15. Okay, again, she's saying that veterans and others in Congress support restrictions on sale of AR assault weapons such as the AR-15. Again, she's even clarifying because she must know that assault weapons is not an actual name. So Mimi is a resounding no, that she does not support us having AR-15s. So I guess her dad only uses a bolt gun when he shoots venison. I know a lot of people that use AR-15 style weapons a lot whenever they hunt. So clearly these are some people that are, eh, not really exposed to the same reality that we're exposed to. So again, she's a resounding no. Now, Larry Rader, again, who did not respond to me at all, we're going to put that he doesn't think that we should have AR-15s too, simply because he's going to get painted into a corner of all the other Democrats who don't want us to have AR-15s. So sorry, Larry, if you would have responded, you could have represented yourself here. I'm not going to represent you for you. I'm not going to go out there and campaign for you. If you want to give an answer that's going to attract people to vote for you, you have to give it. I'm not giving it for you.